eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Happy Tuesday, everyone. Hope you're having a blessed week. We are here at Abiding Love Community Church Remnant of Faith Ministries and on Pep Talk with Becky tonight. We are, we are excited about the word tonight, about the music, and I am really excited about this weekend and upcoming events. We're going to be in revival with Brother Timothy Dixon here at the church on Friday, Saturday, Sunday morning, and Sunday night. Uh, I'm looking forward. Last year we had this house packed out. But what was so exciting was how the Holy Spirit rained down yes. on this place. How people were healed. How people were set free, delivered. I mean, it was just a mighty move of God that just filled this house. And what a blessing it was. And I'm, I am already excited about the blessing that we're going to get this year as well. We've got chairs ordered to come in. We've got a bunch of people headed this way as we speak. So if you would like to come, we're going to give all the details at the end. But we're going to be in a powerful move of God this weekend, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I'm ready to get started in the Word and in music. Amen. So at this, point, at this time, I'm going to introduce Brother Alvin and Sister Donna. Glory to God. As always, it's good to be here, be a part of this. Uh, I'm just happy in the Lord because He gave me another year. Amen. He gave me another birthday, praise God. Amen. Amen. And Happy despite birthday. the things I've been through, and you know what? You learn to really appreciate another year and Amen. another year. Amen. That you know God's allowed you to have and given you as a gift. And that's what I feel like I've had. That's right. It's another year as a gift. Amen? Amen. But I'm still able to go. I'm still able to minister. I'm still able to go where I need to go and, and do His 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 Word and song. And I love it. Amen. I love being a part and plan on being a part for a long time to come. Amen. Because I do feel like my Lord has spared me and kept me going. And I'm going to use it all for His glory. Amen. That's right. You know, Amen. We, 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 uh, we want to put a lot of stock sometimes in the things of this world, but I'm going to tell you what. All of this is going to burn away. All of this is not going to be here. But the things that we need to be putting our stock in and laying our treasures are in heaven. Amen. 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 That's right. Gary Chapman wrote this song Thank you, Jesus. back in the day when you listened to it on a, on a cassette tape. So that tells you it's been around a while. Right. <laughs> but it just says treasures, and it's talking about God's love. It's talking about our love for Him is laying up treasures in the things Amen. of God. Stay heavenly minded. Stay on the things of, of God that will never perish. They'll, it'll never burn up. It's always going to be because it's eternal. Yeah. That's right. People miss the, they miss the boat. Yep. They put so much stock on the things that's going to burn up and, and, and just go away. Right. right. But I want my stock put in what I think is going to be eternal. Thank and that's you. what this song's about. I love it. Uh, it just talks about laying your treasures up in heaven where your heart is. There will you also your treasures be, the Word of God yeah. says. Amen. Where is your heart tonight? That's right. Is it into things above? If it's not, it should be. That's right. Amen. 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 They say that when your treasure is fill your heart be also in your heart's tissue you hide your praise love now you can hide Oh, 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 oh. Glory. Amen. 
He doesn't see all the chaos that you, but he sees it, but he, he's not counting that. He knows, he knows what you're going through. He That's right. He sees how you're going to come through it. Amen. That's the point I'm trying to make. He sees how yes. you're going to come through it. And, yes. and I like, I like the verses in Isaiah, I think it's chapter 43, where he says, you are mine. I have redeemed you. You are Ooh. mine. Yes. yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Uh, and the best thing is when we figure it out and we've understood and we get that those revelations from the Lord Jesus, we can then go out and tell others about it. That's right. Yes. Amen. Either by witness or a testimony or yes. you know, praying for somebody. It can be in the grocery store. It can be at church, too. It can be anywhere. Amen. Um, Hallelujah. Just spread the good word. That's what I'm about. Uh, lately, I just want people to know who he is. Amen.
Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Oh, that was awesome. I love that. Not because of anything we've done, That's but right. because of who he is. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Lord. That, as always, that was wonderful um, praise and worship music. We so glad to be here are now. happy that you joined us on this live stream um, this Tuesday, June 28th of 2022. Um, I've gotten... A little slack about giving the dates because we always like to, um, you know, recording and give the date and time so that we can always look back uh, to see what God has done, yeah. what He's doing, what yes. He's answered. Well, you know, and if God gives us a word and it comes to pass on such and such Ooh, time, we need right. to go back on that date. So we got, <laughs> exactly. you know, the Holy Ghost proof. Amen. Amen. And you know, <laughs> you know, I think we have a lot to celebrate. Yes. Amen. A lot has changed in the last seven days. <clears throat> Um, in the spiritual realm, yeah. in the physical realm, Amen. Um, we got good news from the yeah. doctors. Amen. Uh, that yes. is a praise Ooh. report. Hallelujah. Um, yes. That, you know, all glory be to God because we know that he is the great physician. Mm -hmm. He's not practicing. He mm -hmm. he is it. He knows There ain't it. no practicing with him. No, he, he has uh, made it yes. perfect. Um, and then, of course, the um, monumental overturn of this past Friday of Roe versus Wade. Yes. Um, you know, that is a step in the Hallelujah. right direction. Right direction. And Hallelujah. if, you know, I, I've seen um, the, the, <laughs> the praises of that, and I've seen um, the hecklers of that. Yes. And, you know, yes. it's... Yep. What does the word say? I I always anything that I'm told, anything that I, um, you know, may. Anytime I'm asked something, I always try my best to line it up with the word of God. It's, it's not about my <clears throat> opinion; it's what the word says, and that's what we have to live by. You know, I put that out there. I guess it was Friday morning when you and I seen it. And I put it out there on Facebook and. And I put stuff out on Facebook from time to time, and you you put stuff out there more than I do. <clears throat> but, you know, I put just a little thing out there about how good God is. You know, it's 50 years, yes. and God is just so great in overturning this. And I got more comments than I have ever gotten <laughs> from anything I've ever put out there. <clears throat> and I lost some friends on Facebook. But you know what? That's okay. Mm -hmm. Because my Bible tells us the truth. Ooh, yeah. And <clears throat> I told you some certain things that was going to happen too. Yes. And I'm not going to share that tonight because I'm, I'm waiting for these things to come true. Yep. I told my wife something was going to happen after I heard that on the news Friday morning. And it wasn't 20 minutes later, they already started talking about what I was talking about to her was going to happen. Yes. So I'm just waiting for this to happen, and then I'm going to explode in excitement <laughs> about how God's turning this country yeah. back yeah. around yeah. to where it needs Ooh, to go. Man, you know, we said um, in the, the <clears throat> prior weeks that there was a shifting. Um, it was a year ago to the month. Oh, yeah that we had a revival here and I saw it so clearly. It looked like a huge hand mm -hmm. over the congregation. And all I could see was this. Yeah. And it was like he was stirring some things. Ooh, Didn't you? quite understand, okay, oh, God, what does that mean? What are you stirring? Are thank you stirring you us? Jesus. Are you stirring the atmosphere? Are you stirring the enemy up? You know, it can mean anything. Um, and to hear and to see the praise reports yeah. to, to hear, um, yes. you know, God is doing, it's not just I'll pray about it and I'll continue to pray about it and I'll continue to pray about it, although we do. But now we're seeing the prayers Ooh. get answered right. at a quicker pace, mm -hmm. which tells me, yes. number one, we're in a good place. Yeah. We're Amen. in a good place. Um, we're, we're, 
we're doing everything that we know to do. And as long as we lay hold of the word, many times I believe the world and some Christians, they want the word to uh, conform to their yeah. comfort zone. Yeah. They want the, the word um, to, you know, change and alter to fit their lifestyle. It's not going to do that. The word um, is mm -hmm. meant to mold and shape us. us. We're the ones that have yeah. to conform to the word. We're the ones mm -hmm. that have to be molded and, and shaped by the word of God because yes. it's truth. And when we do this and when we when we subject ourselves to do this, you're going to see these praise reports like you're talking about. Mm -hmm. They're gonna have. We're gonna have meetings and nothing but praise reports. Yeah. We're gonna have church services where people come in and do nothing but yeah. praise yes. reports. Testimony. You know, I we had mm -hmm. church service a week ago, not two days ago, but a week ago Sunday, mm -hmm. and that night I prayed and I prayed specific things and I asked God to show me some things and He got very detailed on some of the things I was I was looking at when I was I could see mm -hmm. in the spirit realm when I was praying. But, you know, Monday morning came, and I, my phone started ringing, and it rang all day Monday. And I was just, I was picking up, hello, 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 and it was praise report after praise report after praise report after <laughs> praise report. <laughs> Tuesday came around, and it, my phone was ringing, 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 ringing. Then Wednesday, 7 o'clock in the morning, my phone starts ringing. Mm -hmm. It's praise report. Praise. All week long, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and some on Sunday, even yes. in the in the service on Sunday, oh, praise reports coming through the airways and on yes. online. See, that's where we we're fixing yes. to be because this this tunnel that you're talking about, he's exposed some things yes. mm -hmm. to the atmosphere. Yes, he's some non spiritual demonic things yes and yes. what's happening those things are being overturned and flipped around and he's making things right yeah and this is thank just you, just a little bit about what's fixing to happen mm -hmm. but i think what's I, I i can't remember the day now but i got a text last week from a brother of mine that i love so dearly and i have been praying for for way over a year and i've been praying for him every day there's not a day that hadn't went by that i haven't prayed for him to God, God, I want you to change this in this man's life because he has a calling on his life. Mm -hmm. He has a work to do in your life and he has song this deep down that needs to come out. And I got a phone or uh, I got a text this week and it said that numbers were up and the spots looked like they were going away and it has not grown. And I just, in my mm -hmm. yard, had a Holy Ghost anointed <laughs> dance. Thank you, Lord. Because... That is answered prayers. Yes. You know, and then I prayed over a man in our church, and this is what I told him, and I had to remind him Sunday. I said, God is going to fix your blood pressure because you're on four or five different blood pressure pills every day, mm -hmm. and your, your blood pressure is still high. But see, this is how God's going to do it. He's going to show you that he's fixing it because it's going to be normal. Then it's going to drop below. Yeah. And in that low point, when it drops low, mm -hmm. you're going to know this is God. Amen. He went to the doctor and had Ooh. some stuff done, and his blood pressure dropped low. Wow. And it's always been high. Yeah. And then he showed me some other blood pressure, and it was like perfect. Wow. And I thought, thank mm. you, Jesus, thank because you, what's happening you, is you are taking care of your children. Yes. Yes. You are about to put not only... Ooh. word coming out but you're putting new Go word on, into them yes. that's going to come to this Ooh. season that we're about to walk oh, in bro. Becky we are coming into it you just said it a while ago a year ago this month yes. at the end of the month we're about to be in July in just a few days but a year ago this time we were in revival yep. and our church only seats a, 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 a certain amount of people <laughs> And that our church was busting at the seams. We had people everywhere. But see, this is what's going to happen this year. Yep. This Friday. Yep. Because see, people are starving for a true word, for a God word, for somebody to preach to them that's not afraid of the truth, that has a backbone. This mm -hmm. church is going to be so full more than we had last year. We're going to have to have TV monitors going just for people to see. We may have to put TV monitors out there in the pavilion for them to see. We're going to have so many people here this year that it's going to blow our mind. Because there's people waiting 
to be blessed because God's turning their situation around. Yes. It is it is um, that sweet anticipation of what God is going to do next. Amen. Um, you know, I, I think it was this, not <clears throat> yesterday or not this past Sunday, but Sunday before last, where God spoke to me. And I, I remember doing this. <laughs> As I'm walking back and forth on the platform, I remember doing this. And I said, God is pruning. Yeah. God's pruning. And what happens um, when you prune a rose bush? We have rose bushes out front in, uh, of our porch. You have to keep the dead things cut off or yeah. else growth will not come back. Right. Um, you have to keep things, the bushes pruned yeah. in order for growth to happen. Yeah. Well, that was God letting me know I've had to prune. Yeah. I've trimmed here. I've trimmed here. I've, I've made some adjustments here. Um, not only physically, spiritually. Spiritually. We, we've made some, some adjustments. It's just like, um, you know, we decided not, I say we decided. The Lord laid on our heart. <laughs> You need to have a Sunday night service. Yeah. And, and you know, we prayed and we prayed and we prayed, like, because God, we don't want to step out of our own self. Right. We want to make sure this is completely 100% from you. Amen. And so we did that. Had I known <laughs> then what I know mm. now. Right. Every Sunday night, when we call them a revival service, Every Sunday night has been a revival service. And the reason I say that is, you know, a revival is just that. You come to get revived. Mm -hmm. You go, come to get refreshed. You come to get restored. You come to get renewed. Yeah. And every service that we have had, every since we started Sunday yes. night service, um, God has said, you know, I I've got to honor your obedience. Yeah. You obeyed me. Now watch what I'm going to do. Right. And, you know, every Sunday, every week, we ask, Come on. God, let your glory fill this house. Yeah. Let let it be a thick cloud in, in yes. your house. This is your house. This is your, your um, abode. We're just... We're just in here. Yeah. We're, we're just um, partaking at your table. Right. Um, what do you have for us this evening? And every week, it may be a little different each time, but every week it is oh, yeah. something oh, yeah. that people are just sitting around like basking in, in yeah. the glory. They Hallelujah. don't want to leave. Um, they they. It's like, okay, we've dismissed but everybody's just uh, standing there or they're sitting still, there. They're just still talking. praising and running around. Yeah, some are yeah. are still praising Ooh, God. Some right. are still, um, and you yes. know, that I believe is part of, it's not the only, it's part of that end time revival. Yeah. We're so yeah. hungry right. and craving right. the move of God. Yeah. We yeah. do not want to let him go. Yeah. And I'm going to tell you this, it's, it's just like you said, the end time move of God. See, we're not promised another second. We're not promised no. another breath. We're not promised anything. And if God doesn't do anything else for Shane as of right now, I've got way more than I have Woo. ever deserved. Yes. And, you know, these Sunday night services, Becky, has been so anointed. And things are, I mean, just starting to shift. You know, it, it, we've been praying for growth, and somebody came to me and said, Pastor, I don't know that if you realize this, but these seats are slap full. Every seat in this congregation is slap full, and you're continuing to pray for growth. We need to pray for a bigger building. <laughs> and I thought, yeah. hallelujah. You know, there is people coming from the north, the south, the east, and the west, and there are going to be so many people in this church house that we we're not going to want to we're not going to want to leave. We're not going to want to, we want to have church every day of the, of the week. Yeah. And I think that's where that's going. Ooh. One day very soon, church every day of the week. But I think what God's doing is he's preparing us. Yes. He's preparing us right now in this last move. It won't be long. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, people have different opinions on the tribulation and I'm not going to get into that, but they, you know, seven years of this or seven years of that, whatever. 
how do we not know that we already got a couple of those years already under our belt? How do we not know that we're at the end of those seven years? How do we not know that we're at the beginning of those seven years? All I'm saying is God is preparing us now. Yes. See, we are in the last great movement of God. Come on. And what a great Ooh. time to live in. See, there's so many people out there saying and belly aching and complaining about all the bad things that are going on in the world. Mm -hmm. But I thank God and hallelujah that I'm yeah. living at a Me 44, too. almost 45 year old man in the year 2022. Me too. Because I think mm -hmm. I'm going to get to see him Ooh, come yeah. back. Yes. And he is raising up an army as we speak that's right. not afraid to hit the streets yes. to tell each to tell others about him right. coming back. Yeah. He's not a, the, the he's raising up an army that's not afraid to preach the gospel. You know, we are we, there's so much corruption in our land. Mm -hmm. And we have so many, I'm not, I'm not going to talk about pastors or preachers or anything like that, but we've got people that's not speaking the whole truth yes. about what's going on. We need some men and women that's got a backbone that'll yes. speak against yeah. these things. Yes. That'll speak against what Disney's trying to push down our yes. kids. To yeah. speak about, uh, to speak against Road versus Wade. To speak about these things. It's wrong. Yes. Thank you, Jesus, for reversing that. Now reverse the Disney and what they want to do on yes. their platform. That's what we need to be thanking God for. That's what we need yes. to be standing up and preaching. You know, I didn't even tell you this, that I was awake early early this morning and I could not go back to sleep and I just laid there and it just seemed peaceful I wanted to go back to sleep because I knew I had a you know a couple more hours before I needed to get up to go to work but I, I was like wide awake and I said okay God I I, I know you well enough to know <laughs> that if I am wide yes. awake um, before I should be um, and I'm not even tired. That you're wanting to. It's amazing either, how he does that. It? It, exactly. You you either want to talk to me or you want me to pray. And so I just laid there for a few minutes and I started praying and I started, um, you know, praying over everyone um, in our family, in our church family, everyone that we knew, um, you know, just covering everyone. Thank you. And then I started targeting my prayers. I said, God, you're already starting. It, it, it's like a, a piece of thread. Once you start pulling it, the whole thing becomes yeah. unraveled. I said, God, I want you to unveil and expose every evil thing, not only in ourselves, but in the churches yeah. and across the land, in the government. what It doesn't matter who it's in, what it's in, mm -hmm. expose mm -hmm. the evil. Yeah. Because the evil is going to try to hide itself. But everything done is secret is going to come to the light. Yeah. Every, all darkness is going to come to the light. Um, you know, the, I just started praying that. And I said, God, this world is about to be flipped upside down. You've already started doing something that they said would never happen. Yeah. Isn't it funny? I heard it, and I didn't think about this, um, and we're not getting into politics, but the very, the very um, uh, decision was overturned during a, um, a term of a president who was all for abortion. And yet it was overturned against it. See, that is just an example that God knows he's orchestrating and putting everything in position. And when he does that, if we will just stand back and allow him to do that and not be swayed by what it looks like, but be firm. And that's, that's our scripture tonight. Be firm in the profession of our faith. Mm. No matter what we see, no matter what we hear, right. know without a doubt, I'm holding on to the word of God. Thank you, Lord. Becky, the reason why, I, I, I'm glad you said that because see, I prayed and I prayed and I prayed, God, what is, what's the good? We know the good that's coming out of it, but yes. I want it to be so exposed that everybody sees it. Yes. And and this road versus way it was fifty years. And this is what this is what I got. 
And I, I think I told you about this. I said, isn't it amazing how what you just said, mm -hmm. that this happened when somebody that's for abortion, how they're for certain things. Yeah. I said, isn't that God yeah. Yeah. allowing, because see, we put so much confidence in man. I said this uh, Sunday in church, man ain't going to change this country. No. Man, it doesn't matter who you put in the politics. It, that, it, man ain't going to change this country. It's God. God's going to do it all. Yeah. But isn't it amazing how God put allowed certain people to be in office? God didn't put them there. I, I know he allowed it to happen. Mm -hmm. But isn't it amazing how God allowed certain people to be in office? And I'm not talking about just the president. I'm talking about all of them. Mm -hmm. And then all these things are pulled to the head and exposed. And there's a lot more that we ain't even seen fixing right. to happen. And then he says, while you're in office, I'm going to flip this thing around and I'm going to put it right back to you. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to let you see every step of the way. And I don't care what you do, because when you say never, that's only my word. This is what God's saying. Never is my word. I remember when I was younger. You and I had first started dating, and I told you, I said, I'll never be part of that ministry, <laughs> that type yeah. of ministry. Uh -huh. And what am I doing now? I'm, uh -huh. I'm pastor of church, just exactly. that type of ministry. Never is always uh -huh. God's word. Um, you know, it, it just reminds me, we've heard time and time again, these are the days of Elijah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and I believe that we are at the very point of Mount Carmel. Mm -hmm. This is the showdown. Yeah. This is um, this is Ahab and and all of the worshippers of Baal against Elijah. You're right. And God. Yeah. Because there was nobody there. Right. There were. We studied this on Wednesday nights that there were people who knew God and believed in God, but out of fear for Ahab and, and Jezebel, they outwardly. Mm -hmm. um, worshipped Baal, but inwardly they knew, well, yeah. you can't be double-minded. Right. You can't <laughs> straddle the fence. So here Elijah was all by himself, and it came to the, um, the they call it the climax of the, the movie. Right. Where it's the, it's the big showdown between Elijah and his God, and Ahab and their God, which was Baal at the time. Now, if you think about it, Elijah said, it's not going to rain until I say it's going to rain. Right. He's one man. Right. But that one man had more faith than any of the rest of, of that group. And Ahab and Jezebel had all of these worshipers of Baal. They had Baal himself. They had statues of Baal. And they believed that they could pray to Baal and Baal would answer their very beck and call. Well, if they, you know, it, it doesn't say that they even tried to call on Baal to make right. it rain. They did at Mount Carmel. They, they said, Baal, if you hear us, Rain down fire, because that was the challenge given from right. Elijah. But it never said that I can read, they called on Baal for rain. Rain was what they were looking for. The brooks were drying up. Everything, right. They were going out searching for food, because when there's no rain, there's no vegetation. There's no, um, I mean, you, you know, you go without drinking water or any kind of mm -hmm. liquids for a couple of days and... That's not good. Um, and so they had the showdown at Mount Carmel. And Elijah was so invested in his faith and walk with God. So invested. Yes. Meaning, I'm not going back. Yeah. It's yeah. just me. You got all those people um, on your side. And I know that I could be put to death. And possibly, he didn't even say possibly, God, I don't know if you're going to hear me or not. He knew, without a doubt, when I call on the name of the Lord, yeah. he's going to hear me, and he's going to deliver. Yes. And yeah. in that time, after all was said and done, Elijah said, Heavenly Father, yeah. that they may know that you mm. are the one true God. Mm. I believe that is happening right now oh. uh, among Amen. all of the people um, in this Amen. country. Amen that they may know Thank that you. you are the Amen. one true living God. Hallelujah. That's why I believe that 
during all of this chaos that's yeah. going on, Absolutely. the gas shortages, the food shortage, whatever it is, God's people are going to be taken care of. I don't, you know, he he took care of Elijah by feeding him mm-hmm. by the Kirith Brook, right? By a raven, which a raven. is the dirtiest right. of birds. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But he caused something so impossible mm-hmm. to yeah. bring food twice a day, mm-hmm. not just once, twice, twice. a day mm-hmm. to Elijah. If he can do that, history repeats itself. Yep. If he can do that, mm-hmm. he can speak to the fowls mm-hmm. of the air and mm-hmm. say, bring my people food. Amen. When everybody else is going without, Amen. he can make a way out of no way. Amen. You know, it's you were talking about uh, the word and people coming to, to know Christ. And in the year 2021 and the year 2022, do you know what the number one selling book is in America? The number one selling book in America. Do you know what it is? Hopefully it's the Bible. It's the Bible. (laughs) First time in history. It's the number one selling book. And why do you think that is? It's because people are starving. Yeah. They're not only starving for Come the on. word, but they're starving yeah. for truth. Yeah. And when they know, when they buy the Bible yeah. and they open it up Ooh, and they yeah. begin to read it, they know that 100% yeah. from on. front cover to yeah. back cover is all the living truth. Yes. You, there ain't up. There ain't up. It, 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 it's everything that you need. Mm-hmm. It's your tool book. It's, it's not a... a I hate when people say it's a fairy tale, but it's a love story. It's it's there's everything in it, but there's also a God in here that's telling us right from wrong. Yeah. So it's not all just a love story. If you want to break this thing down and dissect it, it's a small part of it. This is the way we should be living. And it's mm-hmm. sad because we have the number one book selling in America and we're not living by it. See, it's it's the fact that people are done with fakes, phonies, Absolutely. imitators, mockers, um, naysayers. They're done with lies. They want the truth. And what does the Bible say? Ye shall know the truth, and the truth will make you free. Mm-hmm. There's nothing else that says that you will be free other than by the truth. Right. Right. There's nothing else that says... You are free and Amen. free indeed. Yeah. The government can't do it. Any right. other word um, no. written by man cannot no. do it. Only the word of God yeah. can Woo. free your soul. Amen. And that's where we are right now. Yeah. Yes. Um, oh. And I mean, it looks like 40 minutes has just whew, went by. But <laughs> I want to read the scripture that we have for you tonight. It is Hebrews 10 and 23. And it says, let us hold fast the profession of our faith without wavering, for he is faithful that promised. Let us hold fast. Do you know that hold fast means it hang tight? Hold tight to that, to the profession of your faith without wavering, which is exactly what Elijah did. Elijah, he went in by himself. It was an outnumbered match. I'm just throwing numbers out there. 100 to 1, 200 to 1, 400 to 1. It was, it was on up there. But it was just him. Yep. But he had one advantage over everybody else. Actually, he had a couple. Number one, he had God on his yeah. side. Yeah. Number two, yeah. he had the truth of the word of God. Thank you, Lord. And three, he had he held fast to the profession of his faith. Yeah. When you say... I am healed in Jesus' name. You hold fast to that promise. Because the last part of that scripture says, for he is faithful that promised you. What did he promise you? You, by your, by my stripes, Mm -hmm. ye are healed. Amen. I'm going to tell you, we're going to have to do away with these seats up here. (laughs) Because I need to stand because, you know, the word just starts bubbling up in me so Mm -hmm. much that I want to, I can't. You know, when I preach up here on Sunday morning, Sunday night, whenever it is, I, I'm all over the platform. Mm-hmm. But, you know, that's exactly what I preach Sunday. You know, it's up to us. If something hits us, if something's against us, if something, some kind of sickness, illness, whatever it is, all we have to do is ask God and say, God, I know you've already bared the stripes. 
I know you've already went to Calvary. Mm -hmm. By your anointed Holy Ghost mighty blood, yes. we are all healed in Jesus' name. And leave it there. Because, see, if we ask God to come in and, and heal us or deliver us or whatever yes. it is, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. Yes. I'm going to tell you, that's the faith that we all need to have. You know, it, it's the Bible teaches us about how much faith it takes. Yes. And it talks about that mustard seed of faith. And I don't know if you know what a mustard seed looks like, but it's a really, it's about the end of the ball of yeah. that pen right there. It's, it's so it. small. And if we just have that much mustard seed of faith in us, we can, we can conquer the world. All we have to do is ask God to move that mountain that's right in front of us. Mm -hmm. He has he's split the Red Sea. He's done everything. He's done mm -hmm. all of it. All we have to do is ask him and we shall receive it. The word says, ask, seek, and knock. All yes. we have to do is ask, seek, yeah. and knock. And he will deliver his promise. Amen. You know, Sunday evening... <laughs> At our, Amen. At Hallelujah. Our Sunday revival, I feel that. <laughs> at our Sunday revival service, part of what I preached on was weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. What comes in the morning? Joy. What comes in the joy. morning? Joy. They, what comes in the morning? Joy. 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 They that sow in tears shall reap in joy. Yes. And doubtless come again. Yeah. With sheaves yeah. in their hands. Doubtless come again. We, we, we talked about that Sunday. And I, I began to think about, I mean, I think all of us can bear witness to, we've shed a lot of tears yeah. over the last couple of years. Yeah. It's, it just seems like um, it's been, I heard my son say, if it's not one thing, it's another. Mm -hmm. And I began to think on that. And then I, I saw this scripture we got to dig deep yeah. and hold fast to our faith. No matter what it looks like, no matter how it sounds, no matter if the tears are falling from our face, we need to hold fast to the profession of our faith and say, joy, my joy, my joy is coming in the morning. Your joy is coming in the morning. Amen. There's no devil that can steal your joy permanently. He can only hold it up for a season. But during that time, while we are standing in faith, we've got to hold fast. Yeah. Hold fast. Yeah. Where I'm, I'm holding tight uh, to your arm. That's what that means, is to hold fast. Mm. Hold tight to the Word of God. Because yeah. when yes. you do, the Word will never fail you. Um, you know, the Bible has never failed. No. It's not in the failing business. No, no the, the Bible right. says heaven and earth will pass away, okay. but my words... Yeah. The Word of God oh, yeah. is something that will Ooh. remain and stand Amen. forever. Mm -hmm. Why would you not you. want to hold fast to That's something right. that is forever, Ever. for eternity? What is it you say, for him I live, for him I die? You know, we. what other choice do we have? You know, I was up here preaching on Sunday morning, and I said, listen, if I don't have the Holy Spirit in, in me, you might as well go ahead and take me out. I don't want to live without mm -hmm. the Holy Spirit in me. But, you know, it's, it's like this right here. If we ask God to take care of us and heal us or whatever it is that's going on, he's going to do it. What's the worst thing that's going to happen? We transition over. We ain't going to die. We're just going to transition over. We're going to blink our eyes and it's just going to, we're going to be in heaven. I'm going to tell you something. I, I, I had gotten into a, a, a point a year ago where I, I, I don't know why, well, I do know why because God revealed it, but I'd gotten to a place where I was so just uh, depressed. I mean, and I'm not going to go into all that, but it, it got really dark for me, really deep dark, and I could not figure it out until I asked God to start changing some things. Lord, I need for you to move in my life. I don't know why I feel this way. And I just began to pray and I began to pray mm -hmm. and I began to pray and I began to pray. And I said, God, I want you to show me why I feel this way. Yep. And you know what? It was on a Tuesday afternoon at 315 when somebody pulled up in our driveway and he said, I used to live here and I used to lay right here and I couldn't figure out why I was so depressed. I used to lay up there and figure out why I wasn't so depressed. So all these things, what that is, that was a demonic stronghold attaching itself to me of depression. Mm -hmm. And I refuse 
to go back there. Because, yeah. see, God has delivered me from that. And, yeah, when what happens when we get delivered from something? If we get delivered from something like that, the next morning he's wanting, the devil's wanting to talk in that ear and wanting to nah uh because see that my god delivered me from that so you can take that back yes. to the pits of hell and don't ever bring it back that's what we need to start telling the devil when we get up feeling those way i was healed healed of i know we got to stop but see you done got me started <laughs> i've been healed of, of of many different things and god is is come into my life and healed me from different things and the devil's right there the next day trying to Tell me that it's going to come back. No, my God says when I do it, it's mm -hmm. done. It's written yeah. down. You can't erase it because it's in the blood. Mm -hmm. You can't erase blood, Becky. And when He did it, it's not gonna. It's not gonna go back. Boy, listen, I, I'm I'm sugar free, uh, diabetic, seven forty eight, and now my sugar's perfect at ninety to ninety two, ninety three, yeah. because. Jesus healed me. Exactly. I'm not going to go back. Yeah. It's not going to. That can go back to hell where it belongs. I'm healed in Jesus' name. And that's where it's going to stay. We have we to fix look stop at preaching. It. Let's take the cameras in there to the sanctuary. We, we have to look at the Holy Spirit. This is, this is the only way I know because I'm a visual person. Back when I was little, I loved watching Wonder Woman. I, love, I would go outside and twirl myself around thinking I'm going to turn into Wonder Woman just by spinning around. And she had those gold bracelets on. Um, I remember watching Batman and, and Robin and Superman and all of these different, even Popeye. I love watching Popeye um, mm -hmm. in the mornings. And you know, one thing about Popeye, he could take a beating he could get kicked around yeah but when he he said i've had all i can stand i can't stand anymore and he went and he ripped open a can of spinach mm. and when he chunked it his muscles became bigger and he becomes stronger well that's what the holy spirit does to the children of god yeah when we say i cannot yes. take this anymore i have to tap into something mm -hmm. that's stronger than me i go. have to tap into something that's more yeah, than myself yeah. more than my power because yes, the lord. word says it's not by might it's not by power but it's by my, my spirit, spirit. said the lord of hosts open up a can of of Holy Spirit. Spirit. Holy Spirit. <laughs> when you when you put the Holy Spirit like the armor of God, when you clothe with that daily, because we're gonna experience some hard times. We have experienced yeah. hard times, but we're gonna experience even harder times. The only way that we can make it through and get through it, and not only make it through, but get through it with joy. That's a strength that only comes from God. Amen. When you can make yeah. through and walk through the valley of the shadow of death and fear, fear no, no evil, evil because you know that your God is walking with you and that there is a joy unspeakable. Mm -hmm. You know why it's so unspeakable? You shouldn't have joy in your darkest days, but Amen. you do. You you shouldn't have joy Absolutely. and peace like a river mm -hmm. when right. you're going through the storms of life, but because you know without you a go. doubt, you're mm -hmm. holding fast to the profession of your faith. Yeah. I have even said, God, either you do it or you don't. Yeah. There's no gray area. There's no in-between. You're either God of my life or you're not. Mm -hmm. I choose to believe you are God of my life. And yes. what you say and what you promise, you're going to deliver. Yes. You are well Hallelujah. able and I'm persuaded yes. that you're going to perform to the very end. Um, you know, the Bible says that... He is faithful mm -hmm. to complete what he started. Yeah. He and he's going to complete this thing in our lives. Amen. He's going to complete the thing in your life. He's going to complete yep. the thing in this country. Okay. He's, yeah. he's going to, um, He's. I, I'm seeing that finger again. He's stirring Ooh. things in the atmosphere. Oh, and we don't you, need Jesus. to fear. We no. don't need to worry. Because no. if God is stirring it, He's already got a plan. Yeah, He's already controlling exactly. all of it. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Isn't it just so, this should give you satisfaction. The devil thinks he's winning. Yeah. He ain't winning. <laughs> he's not winning, not one time. The devil's pulling out everything that he can. See, it used to be when devil, when he was trying to attack, we'd say, 
not today, Satan, in Jesus' name, <laughs> and go on about our day. But yes. see, he's pulling out all strongholds, and he's when we say that, he's coming back to attack. He's yep. coming back to attack. I talked to somebody Sunday morning on the way to church, and they kept saying, I kept fighting, and I kept fighting, and I kept fighting, and then he was gone, and he kept fighting, and I kept fighting, and he was gone, he come back. This went on and on and on and on. And I said, the reason that's happening is, is because he's pulling out everything yes. he has. But see, this is what we have to do. We have to continue to fight because we win in the end. Yes. It never says in here that we wouldn't go through struggles, trials, tribulations, whatever. It does say in there that we win. Yes. God takes care of every battle for us. Yes. We win in the end, hands down. Yes. No questions asked at all. So we are going to pray. I think we're all pumped up enough to um, pray and get some answers from the throne room of heaven. Um, and we want you to be in agreement and, and pray. If there is someone that you do not know the Lord, um, Jesus Christ as your personal savior, yeah. um, we want to know, we want to pray with you. We're, we're going to pray even right now. Um, but if there are those that maybe you're addicted, um, to drugs, alcohol, whatever it is. Um, maybe you're addicted to things that you don't consider addictions. If they've got a hold on you, they're addictions. Um, if you want deliverance, if you're, you're praying for healing, whether it be you or for someone else, we're going to pray because God is doing something in the atmosphere. Yeah. He's just looking for the person that is standing in faith against all odds, yeah. just like Elijah did. And we are all made to be Elijah's. In, in this day and hour, we're all made to be Elijah's. So we're going to pray and um, we're going to believe that God's going to shift some things. Um, it, even this week, even today, tomorrow, um, in, in the coming days, we believe that it's all in God's timing, but, and we want God's perfect will, but we know and believe that what God promised, he's going to deliver. Amen. So let's pray. Amen. Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you, Lord, for being the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Yes, Lord, you have been far too good to us, more than we ever deserve. And Lord, you just keep giving us daily benefits. And God, we are so grateful. We are so thankful. Lord, we are humbled by the fact that you even know our names, that you even remember us each and every day. But God, we are the seed of the righteous. We are the seed and we are the heirs to your throne, God. And and you have adopted us in, yes, Lord, yes, in, Lord, into your family, yes. into your kingdom, yes, God. And Lord, there is so much that Thank we are you, facing Lord. right now. But God, we know that we don't face it alone. Yes. We know right. we stand and yes. believe on your word. Oh, we are holding Lord. fast to the yes. profession of our faith Thank and you. we're not wavering. We're not Thank looking to the left Lord. or to the right. Lord, we're yes, looking at the word Ooh. head on and yes, we're Lord. saying with God, all yes. things are yes. possible. Hallelujah. Lord, if there be one under the sound of my voice that does not know you, yes. Lord, I ask that you get all in them. You move on their yes. hearts and minds until they become yes. so uncomfortable and, and not at ease. Yes, Lord. Lord, that they will yes, just say, Lord. I need to make it right. Yes. I cannot Lord. waste Lord. another yes. second. Lord, we Amen. ask that you Thank put you. hooks in their yes. jaws, reel yes, them in, Lord. God. Hallelujah. And Lord, Thank put you. your strength mm. in their bodies, Thank in their you, hearts, Jesus. in their minds, God, yes, that they will go out and speak yes. of the, your goodness yes. and yes, tell Lord. of what you did for Thank them. You, Lord. Yes. Lord, if there be one that needs deliverance, Lord, yes, from right any and every addiction, yes. you, Lord, we cast it into the sea. We bind yes. up every yes. spirit of addiction yes. by the blood of the yes. Lamb and the Lord, the name of the yes. Lord Jesus right. Christ, yes. that every addiction Climb. will yes. dissolve and break off yes. of yes. these people. Yes. Lord, that they won't want any other cigarette. Yes. They won't any anything that All is desire. nicotine, any alcohol, any yes. drugs. Lord, oh, anything dude. that is consuming yes. their time, yes. anything that is consuming 
consuming and controlling them. Lord, we bust yes. it wide open with Amen. your word like a hammer. And Lord, we cut, we crush it into pieces. Yes. And Lord, we yes. say that they are delivered this delivered. day. Yes, right? Lord, Lord, if there yes. be Thank one Lord. that needs healing. Yes. Lord, yes, you Lord. took it all. You yes. bore it all yes. on your back and on yes, the cross. Lord. Lord, we speak to every spirit yes. of infirmity and say yes. you Ooh. must bow yes. to the blood Hallelujah. of the Lamb. Yes. You, you cannot hide. Mm. You cannot back down. You. you cannot yes. squirm around Ooh. the word or the power of yes. the word. Yes. But Lord. you Hallelujah. have to completely turn yes. loose and let go yes. of yes. these Lord. people. Lord, I ask yes, that you yes. cover their bodies by the blood of the Lamb. Thank you, Lord. Lord, that right your now. healing virtue would flow from yes, head yes, to yes, toe. Right. Yes. Lord, even Thank those you, that are standing in the gap for others. Yes. Lord, we've already yes. received testimonies Thank of yes. healings in, yes. in hospital beds. Yes. And God, I believe you're uh-huh. just getting started. Ooh. Lord, yes, that Lord. they will... These people in hospitals yes. will begin to take off their oxygen. They'll yes. begin to stand up when they couldn't stand up yes. otherwise. And they'll be saying, I'm healed. I'm healed. Something touched me and I'm healed. Yes. Lord, we look forward and we hold fast to the testimonies of what you're doing because you get every ounce of glory. There is no glory that man can take. But God, we know that when we see these things and we hear these things, we will know without a doubt it was you. Yes. And Lord, I ask that you cover each and every one of us, God. Yes. Continue to fan the flames of our yes. faith. Continue to burn yes. deep down within us. Yes. Continue, yes. Lord, yes. that craving, Rain that down. hunger Rain for you, yes. God. Rain Lord, down. that that yes. rain that you keep yes. falling on each and every one of us. Yes, Lord, Lord dump it out. Yes. Lord, we pray over the revival this weekend. Yes. Lord, we ask that you're protecting Lord, angels cover, cover Brother Timothy and Sister yes. Rose and his team as yes. they get here. Lord, keep them safe while they're here and, and be able to take them to their next journey. Yes. Lord, I ask that your spirit fall again so fresh, yes. so heavy in this place. Lord, that the people that come expect Expecting and believe, get exactly what they came for. That no one leave this place the same as when they entered. And God, let it be an explosion break out in revival, Lord. Lord. All for your glory and all, Lord, to your name. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. 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 Don't forget this Friday night at 7 o'clock. This Saturday night at 7 o'clock, Sunday morning at 11 o'clock, and Sunday night at 6 o'clock here at Abiding Love Community Church. Yes, we will put the address, the information up um, at the end of this. If you have any questions, contact the church. We'll give you directions. We'll give you all the information. Um, But until then, God bless you. Keep us all in prayer, and we'll keep you in prayer, and pray that the, the... Heavenly rain continue to fall on each and every one of us. That is our prayer. God bless you. you.